Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had an amazing week and an amazing Valentine's Day. I chose to call it Galentine's this time around. And today we're gonna to be talking about something that I get asked really often. And it's about how do I get such a bright and smooth under eye? So there are kind of multiple steps to get to this finished product. And if you wanna see how I get the smoothest under eye possible and the brightest, then go ahead and keep watching. So what you're gonna need to achieve a flawless under eye is actually two shades of concealer. So one of these shades is gonna be really close to my skin tone, and then the other shade is a brightening shade. So this one is optional. It's only if you want to be brightened, but for me, it's a crucial step of my flawless under eye routine. This one is basically to neutralize the under eye. So let's say there's some darkness shining through. We're going to want to cover that up and neutralize it with the same shade. If I went straight in with the lighter shade, then it would end up turning out kind of gray. So we do not want that. So we're going to start with this shade first. So this is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. I love this. As you can see, it's well loved. It's not like it's been through it. Um, and I have the shade Praline. So I'm just going in under the eyes, just focusing it in, right? Just two dots, really, like two swipes, I mean. And you can let it sit for a little bit before blending, just so that it kind of sets into the skin. So I'm gonna wait like 30 seconds before blending this out, literally very, very small. And I've already contoured and everything. Um, we're just focusing on the under eyes. It's been literally like 30 seconds roughly. And then I'm just gonna go in and blend that out with my Beauty Blender. And my Beauty Blender is always damp whenever I'm using it, unless otherwise stated, but just assume that the default is damp. And that's how Beauty Blender intends for the sponge to be used. And honestly, you'll get the best results that way. So we can already see we have that eye open effect with just the same shade. So you can stop here and you don't have to apply the brightening shade. But for me, I like to have that bright under eye. You know, I'm obsessed with it. So we're going to grab another shade. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. And I'm in the shade Wheat. So this is a very brightening shade. This is also almost done because I've used it quite a bit. So I'm gonna go right along the nose. Now this is kind of getting into my nose contour and highlight routine. Um, that's just actually to hide the shadow along the side of my nose. And then I'm gonna pop this right under the eye. So this brightening shade is gonna help really open the eyes and it's gonna just pop the under eye. So we're gonna take that right here this is a very full coverage formula, so you don't have to use as much as I'm using. I'm just very extra, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my nose um, highlight as well. I like to just apply it elsewhere um, on the other parts of my face just a little bit, just so that it's not this one bright under eye. I like to marry everything together. So I'm leaving the under eye in place for right now, and I'm gonna just blend these other areas first and you'll see that everything is just coming together very nicely and right up here. Usually I don't have lipstick on for this, but right now I do. <laughs> just for the sake of the YouTube video, I do. And we're gonna blend that nose out and then afterwards I'll apply my nose contour. It's not the focus of our video today. So now we're going into that under eye and we're just gonna blend. And what I really like to do is set the under eye very shortly after blending it out. Obviously we want our product to set and dry first. So I don't set it immediately, immediately after. It just depends on the formula you're working with. And what I mean by that is since it's liquid, it needs to just dry down a little bit. So let me blend this one eye and I put it in a direction kind of going up. This is gonna help lift the face, but just look at how much brighter and beautiful the under eye looks. I'm obsessed with this technique. Then I'm going in and forever I've been using two shades of concealer. Like this is something that's not new at all. It's something that I've been doing forever, but I thought I'd make a video specific to this technique just because I feel like there are some new things that I've added in. And it's something that a lot of people ask me about as well. Like how do I get such a nice, smooth, bright under eye? I feel like as I start getting older, I noticed that like there are a little bit more fine lines under the eyes, which is completely normal. But as a result, we want to set our face properly so that the fine lines are not, there's not like product building up into the fine lines because nobody wants that. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop on my nose contour. And while I'm popping on my nose contour, everything else is just gonna dry and set in place. Now that that's all blended, I am grabbing my Huda Beauty Easy Bake in the shade Banana Bread. And here is where the true magic happens. Actually, there's magic all along. I'm just obsessed with the whole vibe. So I'm grabbing a little powder puff and the powder puff is a real game changer. This is a Huda Beauty one. It's in the shape of a heart. I am in love. Anything that's pink and shaped as a heart, like please sign me up immediately. Um, it's giving major Valentine's moments. And guys, I just had my Galentine's party. I had such a fun time. Um, Valentine's has been branded as such a, like you have to have a partner. Like I still, even whether I'm single or taken during Valentine's, I always celebrate. I love Valentine's because I love love. I take it as a moment to celebrate the people in my life who I love, whether it's my besties, my family, just everyone. And I feel like it's just a better way to look at it um, because it's not meant to be, some people like paint it in such a negative light if they're single, they're like, oh my gosh, but really it's so cute. And what I did for my Galentine's, I actually was thinking about back in the day when we were in elementary school, how we used to just go ahead and send everyone a little, like write down little um, Valentine's for everyone, like with the little cute cards. So I thought, wait, I want to do that as an adult. So I did that for everyone in attendance to my party and it was so cute. Anyway, obsessed. As you can see, I'm literally going in padding motions to press the powder into the skin. Another technique is a press and roll. Both you're going to find it's just getting that right into the skin and it's so smoothing and blurring. This powder is genuinely so gorgeous. Another powder that I really, really love is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the shade Honey. That is another go-to for me. I've just been testing out the Huda one more recently, and I am realizing why it is so well-loved and gone viral multiple times. You can also go ahead and apply some powder under here and that'll that's just going to chisel out the jawline a little bit more and those cheekbones um it's really it's really up to you but as you can see the under eye is just looking really flawless just with that i did put quite a bit of powder on so if you're gonna bake the under eye, you have to be aware that, for example, I have oily skin. Summertime, it's really oily. In the wintertime, it's getting like more combo. Like there's a lot of dryness around my mouth right now. So if you're really dry, I don't recommend baking because then the powder will kind of build up on those dry spots and end up looking worse. So I would say try out baking only on a day that you don't have anywhere to go. Just on a day that you wanna experiment if you have dry skin. If you have normal, combo or oily then you could definitely try the baking technique and see what you think i love it personally because i get oily on in my t-zone and like doing the nose area is so crucial for me this huda beauty one the heart one it's a little dirty obviously because there's makeup on it but look at how it fits like perfectly right under the eyes like i have a really tiny face because i saw someone say oh it's too small for me i think it's the perfect size like really really love this i'm gonna bronze the rest of my face and then i'm gonna come back okay now that i've bronzed i am going to grab my charlotte tilbury airbrush brightening flawless finish powder this is the shade tan deep i'm pretty sure this comes in two shades and this is the darker of the two Here's what she looks like. I'm grabbing a small brush. This is the Sigma E40. And for me, the small brush is really crucial because I want to get into this smaller area under the eye. So I am just kind of pressing this brightening powder into the under eye while also just kind of removing my bake at the same time. And this just adds a really flawless finish to the under eye. Like, I don't know if you can visibly see a difference between the two sides. I, I can actually, now that I'm looking at it here, I can definitely see the difference. So it just adds that extra oomph. But when I'm setting my under eye, I always, whether it's this powder or any other, I like to go in with a press powder afterwards. I have been seeing online that a bunch of artists actually do it the opposite. They do press powder first and then the loose powder, um, which I haven't tried yet, but I'm very interested in giving that a try. Um, but this this technique is basically what I've been doing for years as an artist and I really, really love it. Here is the finished look. I finished off my eyes and everything, put on some blush. I'm using the Dior Viral Blush. That's like the 001 pink in the rosy glow. It's so pretty. 
Um, but that's a different story. I was going to potentially film about that as well in another video just because it's so, so pretty. But anyway, guys, the under eyes are flawless, as you can see. And I'm really, really just obsessed with this routine. Um, as I mentioned before, you can always skip out applying the brightening shade and just skip right over to setting it. That's literally up to you based on if you want it to look more natural or a little bit more full glam. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I post every single Sunday. I'm going to post my most recent video right here for you guys to check out and I will see you guys next week. Bye!